All right, ladies and gentlemen, the former president of Nigeria, Chief Organo Lushegunov Vasilio, has advised federal government to sack Yakub Mahmoud, I met chairman. He said that election way Yakub Mahmoud too. He speak well English before that election. He advised them to sack him and sack everybody at the top levels of INEC and gave them a proper advice on how to employ new set of people so that we can have elections that are free, fair, and the votes of Nigerians are going to count. But then, I have a problem with this advice. Let me show you the news first. Former President Olu Shekunobasanjo has called for the dismissal of the chairman of INEC, Mahmoud Yakubu, and officials of the commission at all levels as part of a reform of the electoral process in Nigeria. Mr. Abbasanjo made a call in a paper he presented at the Chinu Achebe Leadership Forum, Yale University in the United States. The annual lecture honors the late Nigerian writer Chinu Achebe. He delivered the address titled Leadership Failure and State Capture in Nigeria. In a pre recorded speech played at the event, in a speech, Mr. Obasanjo described the 2023 general election as a travesty, adding that the reform of the electoral system is a key agenda for the country. The former president also called for shorter tenures for INEC officials and a more rigorous vetting process to prevent the appointment of partisan individuals. As a matter of urgency, we must ensure the INEC chairperson and their staff are thoroughly vetted. The vetting exercise should produce dispassionate non-partisan actors with impeccable reputations. Nigeria must ensure the appointment of new credible INEC leadership at the federal state, local government, and municipal city, town, and villages levels with short tenures to prevent undesirable political influence and corruption and to re-establish trust in the electoral system by citizens, he said. He argued that the INEC chairperson must not only be absolutely above board, but must also be transparently independent and incorruptible. Mr. Bassanger said the commission willfully failed to utilize two main technological tools at its disposal, the bimodal voter accreditation system beavers and the INEC election result viewing portal IREV during the 2023 presidential election despite the promises made by Mr. Yakubu. Bassanger, <laughs> the advice, Nigeria, Say me the sack I need chairman. You can't even give us advice on how to employ a proper I need chairman that will be unbiased. <laughs> Chief of Lutheran Pastor, you said the last election is a travesty. This small English where Papa don't go learn for one university where we don't know your name. Nobody will get peace on this country. Okay, no one is well. The election was a travesty. Have you? you have to tell us say the election was misrepresented falsely. Now, Papa won't use grammar, finish us. Okay. Let's look at the facts. As far as elections are concerned in Nigeria, former President Olusegun Obasanjo does not have the right. The, the, he does not have the left. He does not have the center to advise us how to do this properly. I will tell you why. Obasanjo first came into power in 1999 election, and then he ran another election in 2003, and then in 2007, he gave us Yeradua and good luck in village Jonathan. When they finish the election, eh? <laughs> you know that this one now where they do now position the shout. That election when they finish up, Yeradua will win the election. I'm like, hey, whoa. Oh my, they rig for this country. He said it with his mouth that the election would that brought him into power is totally a sham. It was a fraud. Do you know a man called Maurice Iwu? He was the INEC chairman at that time. Appointed by Lucia Group Passenger. They were on the election, people will win. I'm like, oh boy. She means now that they vote. Now buy that they buy votes. <laughs> that time. My community for that election, everybody will take the lowest 20,000. Where election is not come out. <laughs> if you see the amount, where they write for a layout. <laughs> Anyway, it's all right. It's well. Everything in peace they do today, now PDP teach them. The Bible says greater things shall you do. And that's why APC is doing it better. Although, APC is worse than them, you know, because at that time, there was no social media. So it was easy for them to play the Magumago. But today, 
with all the social media and all the camera facing Yakub. <laughs> Yakub see the players, they run us streets, they run us look at as well. I agree with your own advice. Um, ex president, you are spot on under your advice. My only issue is that when you did there, why you not advise yourself? Why is it that when person come up, why you call the thing away? <laughs> Do you know that this thing is now? If you finish the eight years, you go come come on, you go come start to advise us how to run the country. <laughs> when you don't come on, you start to mismanage, you go come start to advise us how to do this well. It's all right. Let's just see how things goes. 2027 is another election cycle again. If you like, say your vote. Not be me hungry with bitch. As they do this video, they enjoy my shoulder. Every assault for me. <laughs> if you like, what 2027 will call, say your vote. Connect 75. <laughs> we will all be all right. Your Excellency, we will share the passage. All this advice for Geta. You see that place waiting to put us in there? <laughs> you see that position waiting to put us in there? If all the states don't collect, man, they will take us out. 